Hi there, this is Distribute Loads 2, and uh, what I'm going to focus on here is essentially this crate, which weighs 300 pounds, and we just want to find out uh, with this force, this uh, point-like force, uh, distributed load, on the left side of the box, uh, how much does X have to be the peak of those loads? How much does X have to be that it would create enough uh, moment about this, what I'm going to call a tipping point, right here. I'm going to call it tipping point, TP, such that it would cause the whole box to tip over. And just assume that inside the box everything's evenly distributed, so the centroid is smack dab right in the middle. How would we determine this? Well, first off, we need to find what is the total force of this distributed load relative to X, obviously, um, and where is that force going to be located? That's the first step. And first off, um, where is the centroid in a triangle? Well, it's two-thirds away from the point, down, straight down from, from that point. So if you go from straight down from that point, if I were to draw just a, a, like a sister uh, triangle right here, be from the point straight down two-thirds of the way right here. I know this is kind of crooked, but all I'm saying is that um, if we were to cut like this, it's two-thirds the way down. One-third, two-third. Okay. We know that all we needed to know, though, was how high is it, and we know it's halfway up. So if we were to redraw this uh, free body diagram with uh, a simplified load for the distributed load, so instead of this, this complicated distributed load, we'd have just a single load on the left side, it would look something like this. Halfway up the box, a force pushing, uh, pushing to the right, at the area equivalent to the total force, which we're going to figure out right now. Let's figure that out. We have the area of the distributed load will equal base times height over 2. Okay, So base being 36 inches and height being x all over 2 you will have 18x, and this is actually pound per inch. That it, or no, this would actually be pounds, just straight up pounds. So now you know that the force that's pushing at the centroid height of this crate is 18x, which is going to be counteracted by. this force right here, which is pushing down 300 pounds. Okay, so first off, um, where is our tipping point in our free body diagram? It's right here. What you realize is that the force is at, uh, the, the weight of the box is actually causing a positive moment. It's causing it rotation in the counterclockwise um, direction about the tipping point, whereas the applied force is doing just the opposite. It's causing a rotation of uh, clockwise, which you can see. So what we realize is that rather than doing uh, sigma f and all, and all these, uh, just focus on the moment, and the moment equaling zero, and that will be our tipping point any more force and it will just roll over quicker. So we need to find essentially where sigma of the moment, the, the sum of the moment at TP is equal to zero and that will be our critical point. Thus we have 18x times the moment arm which is half of 36 so Half of 36 is 18 inches, which is right here. So times 18. And that's a negative because it's going um, clockwise. 
plus our 300 pounds times what would be half of the, the base of the box, which would be 9 inches only, so times 9, this should equal 0. And actually, you don't need to solve for the moments, really. You're just solving for x at this point, because that's the only unknown we have. So if you solve for x, you're going to get 8.33. And at that point, I believe that would be pounds per inch. And that is um, the peak of this force. So whether it's water spraying the box, or if it's a really heavy like wind, Whatever the case may be, this if th that peak of that force reaches 8.33 pounds an inch, it will roll over and you'll have a box on its side. And everything inside will be broke. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. And uh, put more suggestions if you want uh, more distributed load problems or anything like that. I have no problem doing these. These are fun.